Hi, and welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. I'm Paul DeBartolomeo. In this segment, we're going to discuss what's called a space case. As we can see here, we have a person pinned between the platform and the train. A space case occurs because there's a gap between the platform and the train. The gap can be anywhere from two inches to six inches wide. And a person can fall down in between that gap and become pinned. What our operation is going to be to come up and set up some high pressure airbags to do a horizontal displacement, pushing the train away from the platform just enough so we can extricate this person. But before we get into that, we need to discuss some key safety factors. First and foremost, this is an electrified train, so we need to have confirmation that power has been removed. Confirmation has to come through the transit authority and through our fire department dispatch system. In addition to that, we need to apply the emergency brake of the train so that there's no unwanted motion. We're actually going to put a rescuer under the train to support the patient's lower extremities. So we want to ensure that the brakes are applied and the power is removed before any fire department personnel enter the track bed. In order to perform the space case, we've put together what's called a space case kit or a space case block. It consists of three pieces of three quarter inch plywood, 20 by 20 in dimension. It's glued and screwed together. To that, we've added a two inch piece of angle iron that allows the, the kit to sit flush on the edge of the platform. On the front side of the kit, we have another piece of angle iron. This is where we place our airbags. We lower this kit down off the platform and allow it to be inflated and push the train away. Today we're going to utilize two 20-ton airbags. We sit them on the space case kit like so. And we can lower this kit right down in the space between the train and the platform, inflate the bag, and perform our horizontal displacement. Once we've confirmed power removal through the fire department dispatcher, and we've ensured that the brakes have been applied by the train crew or a fire department member, we can deploy a rescuer under the train to disentangle and support the patient's lower extremities. Our rescuer on top of the platform is now going to come in and put a small body harness on the victim so that we can support the weight of the victim as we push the train away. Okay, I'm in good position. A simple body harness or a girth hitch is all we need with a piece of webbing so that when we push this train away, we can support the weight and extricate this victim. Prior to configuring our removal equipment, we have to decide what path we're going to take of extrication. It's advantageous to use the short side of the train to remove the victim. The short side of the train is where the two cars come together, whichever is closest to the victim. In this case, the short side of the train would be towards the front of the train. The long side of the train is going to be here to the back side of the train. So what we want to do is come in with our stabilization equipment and our airbag equipment and place it to the left of the victim. That way when it's in place it won't impede our extrication if we have to go towards the short side of the train. Okay? So in order to have positive progress capture, Russ is going to come in with a step chalk and place it in close proximity to the victim. Tony and Russell now come in with the space case kit and set our bags in place. Up on red. Hold on red. Up on green. Hold on green, up on red. Hold on red, up on green. Hold on green. We've achieved the necessary opening. The victim has been removed. So in this scenario, we dealt with a space case where a person was pinned between the platform and the train. 
We used a space case kit in conjunction with two 20-ton airbags to perform a horizontal displacement just to create enough space where we could extricate the patient. I'd like to thank the New England Disaster Center and Camp Partell for allowing us to use their facility, and I'd like to thank you for watching another episode of Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. Thank you. I'm Paul DiBartolomeo.